everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is part four of my completed colour book collection and completed pages. If any of you would like to do a buddy colour with me in any of these books, just comment down below. If you see a book that I haven't already done a flip through on my channel, just comment down below and I'll definitely do a flip through for you guys. So the first one we're going to look at is Pop Manga Mermaid's Other Sea Creatures by Camellia de Carico. I've not coloured in this book, but this book is absolutely beautiful. The line is absolutely stunning. I'm too scared to colour in this book to be honest guys, but I'm getting a bit more out of my comfort zone so I'll probably colour more into this. Like this one reminds me a bit of The Greatest Showman because the bearded lady and all that. As you guys can see, it is double sided, so alcohol markers you can't use in it, but you can use a lot of different other water mediums because the paper is that lovely. I just absolutely love this book. I love her actual books though. I've only got this one in her books, but. I'm definitely going to get more of them in the future. So that was Pop Manga, Mermaids and Other Sea Creatures. The next one is another book I have not coloured in. And this is Animal Kingdom by Minnie Magada. I think that's how you say your name. Sorry if I've like butchered it. But this is another book that I got because it was on the cheap side and I seen it and I was like, I like the look of this, I'm going to have a little go at it. Never got around to doing it so I might actually give it a go because you don't have to colour in every little detail. That's what my mind thinks, you've got to colour every little detail in. But you haven't got to if you don't want to. Oh my, that's a double page spread of frogs. That's a scream at me to do. If you guys are wondering, I have a little bit of like a sore throat. So if my voice sounds in and out throughout the whole video, that's why. It's terrible. But yeah, this is a beautiful book. It's very detailed, but it's very beautiful. And again, it's double sided. Most of these books are double sided. This is like my double sided shelf. And that was Animal Kingdom. The next one I have called out of and it is Day of the Dead colouring book. And this is a single sided book and the line art absolutely amazing for like alcohol uh, markers and stuff like that. You can use any medium on this because the paper is lovely. This one I did back in 2020 and I did this in March. I used alcohol markers and as you guys can see for the flowers, the entire flowers I done with metallic gel pen. I absolutely love this page. But on the other hand this page is even better because I started this when I first ever got the book was like 2018, 19, something like that. I'll just triple check when this was actually made. One second, guys. This was published in 2016. So I got this about 2018. And I used pencils at first. And I was like, I'm getting bored of colouring the same things over and over again. Because I was brand new to colouring. So then I just left it for like literally two years and then I done that page, the one I just showed you and I was like I want to go back to doing this page and I actually did it. It took me near enough three years to do but I did it because I completed this in 2020 in October. I used everything on here as you guys can see. I've used alcohol markers, I've used pencils, I've used gel pen, I've used everything in this book. Well, this page, to be honest, guys. But yeah, this is the Day of the Dead book, and it's absolutely got like sugar skulls, 
Mexican cuisines. Like, it's just an amazing book, to be honest. So if you want a really detailed page, this one will be really cool to colour in. Has lots of food, dresses to colour in, clothing. So if you like, like fashion stuff, this will be a perfect book for you. And that was The Day of the Dead colouring book. The next one is Adult Christmas colouring book. I've only done one page in here. This is a double sided book, but the line art is quite thin, but it's like detailed, detailed, like really detailed for me. So I find it hard to like stick to a page, but as you guys can tell, the paper is beautiful in this book. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, the paper is lovely, it's double sided. There's like a lot on one page in some of them, but then other ones are very simplistic like this one. And then you've got like these ones that are like double page spreads, but they're not, but they are like type thing. You can make them as a double page spread, but they're not. But I did this one. And this was done in 2020 in July. I started this back in 2019, like the end of 2019. I think it was in December and I didn't finish it until the July. I remember starting this like at the end of December into the new year and I finished it in July. So yeah, this book is absolutely stunning, but it's very detailed for me. That was Adult Christmas Colouring Book. The next one is Joanna Basford's Secret Garden. I've got, I think, every single one apart from the How To Draw by Joanna Basford. I've got every single one of them. Because I don't really draw or anything like that so I don't find that really like my taste but I've seen people colour from it which is like making me want to buy it now it's I've got a, I've got a love-hate relationship with that book <laughs> it's like I want it but I don't want it <laughs> anyway I've got all the other books of Joanna Basford I absolutely love her work she's one of my favourite like beginner people if you really want to like do double-sided paper but you don't want to go really detailed these books are perfect for you absolutely perfect if you love flowers a box of flowers like every single one of them's got a bit of flower in it absolutely love it i'm not really a big flower coloring person but i love her work absolutely love it but as everyone's already known what this book is it's double-sided and it's on like yellowy creamy paper this is one of her very first ever i think it was her very first ever coloring book but the paper's not the best and but i just colour with pencils anyway so but as you guys can say it's detailed but it's not detailed detailed like some other images very patterny these two pages here i did I did this one here in 2019 in September. I just used really cheap, cheap pencils. Then I got scribbled pencils and I did this one. And this was a year later. It was in May 2020. So it was like near enough a year later. And I just love how both of them look together. I know they're not exactly the same, but that one's more like pastel because of like the pigment's not that great. And then this one's like more in your face and I absolutely love that. I don't think they're coloured anymore through here. No, I never. This one I did in 2019 as well. As you guys could tell, I used to skip through the book to the easier pages because I used to feel so intimidated by everything. I love this image though. I might actually do this soon. I really am thinking about doing this one soon. 
but yeah i did this one in september 2019 and as you guys can see it's a really a lovely book to be honest i love this book absolutely love it just screams gel pens to me you can use anything but alcohol markers in the, these books Your yeah, books are wonderful for that type of stuff that was Secret Garden by Joanna Basford. The next one is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Joanna Basford. I've not, actually I have coloured in. I was going to say I've not coloured in this book, but I've only coloured in one page in this book. And it's the, this book belongs to page. And I did this one in February last year, which is 2020. And as everyone's already seen this book, it's absolutely cute. It's a storybook as well as a colouring book, which I absolutely love. Because if I colour the whole book in, whenever I do that, I can always give this to my children or I can give it to one of my friends who've got children or anything like that. And they can read the stories to them. And it'll be in like an original colouring by me, which quite cool. But the problem is with me with this book is Ivy's this this little girl here is featured in every single like other page. And as you guys do there, like if I want to make it like a storybook, I've got to make her a certain colour and keep the colour combination. I'm not one of them people to keep colour combinations, so it's going to be difficult for me to keep her like the same throughout the book. But then I'm thinking I should just colour in whatever colour I want to. So it's like I'm second guessing myself on this book all the time. But I do love the book. Like, I love how detailed these pages are. But what I love about this book, especially compared to, uh, to her Secret Garden one, is the double page spreads are separate pages, like they're not in the spine, which I love. I absolutely love that. Like this page here is a double page spread, but it's not in the spine. I absolutely love that. So yeah, that's Ivy and the Inca Butterfly by Joanna Basford. The next one is Magical Jungle by Joanna Osford. I've only coloured in one I found in this book, which I thought I coloured a little bit more than that, but I never. And again, it's double sided. And the paper colour is like an ivory colour. And it's detailed, but not overwhelmingly detailed. I want to do this one in watercolour so bad. Every time when I look at this page, I'm like, I need to do this in watercolour, but I don't know how to use watercolour. <laughs> so it's like, okay then. I just love how like leafy this book is. This book's just leaves. Like most of the books are just leaves and I absolutely love that. Because when I'm just feeling just a leaf and get one of the books out and just colour it. Like this page here, it's just leaves. You can colour it in all greens, you can colour it in a rainbow, you can do anything with this page. You can even add stuff onto this page, which is quite cool. Like you can colour him in, and if you're not bothered about this side, you can cut him out and put him in the middle there. And make it like your own art piece and then just exact the thing for that and put it in a frame. The one I've done is this one, and I did this one in September 2020. And it is a colour and chat on my channel of my old Cecil. I used. I have no idea what I, I can't remember what I used. I don't know if it was the Zender colour pencils or the Scribblers colour pencils. One of them two, or Fabric Castell pencils. I cannot remember. But it's in my um, colour and chat, so if you want to have a little look at that, just scroll through and just see if you can find it. 
So yeah, I did this one in September 2020. And that was Magical Jungle by Joanna Wasford. The next one I've not coloured also, and it is Joanna's Christmas. I might actually just colour in this one this month, to be honest, because it's Christmas in July, isn't it? But it's single-sided, so your alcohol markers will be perfect. Even the double page spreads are single-sided, which I love. Like, I absolutely love that. And you can just colour in anything you want in these pages. But if you are using alcohol markers and stuff like that just use blush pages like this page here is absolutely cute and it's single sided so you can just go ham on whatever you want to do with it that's what i absolutely love about this book this book is also perforated so you can rip out the pages if you would like to which obviously i won't because i don't like doing that but if you're like wanting to frame it or anything you can do if you're one of them people who like to colour in outside the book so you're more comfortable, this book is perfect for it. So that was Joanna's Christmas. The next one is World of Flowers. I've got a forever whip in this book. It's whenever I look at this book, I'm like, no, I don't want to go near you. <laughs> don't want to go near you, Whip. I love this um, pull out at the, at the back here. It's so detailed. But I might actually do a speed colour in this. I might do. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about doing like a speed colour on like a really detailed page. So you guys can see like it come to life. But it's going to be very, very long. Like, for me, in real life. So... I'm thinking about doing it, I don't know for sure, but like on the other side is a lovely pull out as well. I absolutely love this pull out. I'm not one for colouring in flowers, I and mean, you can also take it out because it's perforated. Yeah, it's perforated. But yeah, this is like World of Flowers, so if you love flowers, and stuff like that this book is perfect the line art's the same as all the rest of joanna's work which is lovely line art the paper is that like ivory creamy color which i don't mind this is really detailed <laughs> i just seen that then i was like that's really detailed i might actually just use um gel pen on this yeah, I might use gel pen on it. Make it a whole gel pen page. Don't know, yeah. But, yeah, this book is absolutely beautiful, but, again, I'm not really, I've got to be in the mood to colour flowering. But if you would like to do a bloody colour in the book, I'll be absolutely um, down for it. This is my forever whip. I started this. I want to say over a year ago, at least over a year ago, when did this book come out? Because I got this book when it came out, the year it came out. 2018. Yeah, 2018. And I've just not even like... No, I got this in 2020. Yeah, it's nearly been a year. It's nearly been a year. And it's just stayed like this. I've only got a little bit left to do and then I've got to do the background a little bit and this page and then I've got to do that page but I might just do this page and then do the bits in this page and then do the background like what I'm doing with the World of Wonder one with you guys but this page will be done eventually this year I am definitely definitely completing this page not both of them this page this year I don't know about both of them but I might, I might actually do both of them so that's a forever whip. <laughs> so I need to keep that one on side just in case. I've got like a pile of whips going on. The next one is Beauty of Horror by Alan Robert. I absolutely love, love his work. Like I absolutely love it. 
and there is a colour along that John from Ability of the Fire Colorist or something. He changed his um, YouTube name anyway to the. Um, oh, I can't remember right now. Anyway, he's doing a, um, a year along colour along for Beauty of Horror, but like it starts now as well, so it's like a year and a bit. And I absolutely love his work, so I might just like drain along with the colour along because I've got pretty much all of them apart from the little ones and obviously the new one that's not even released yet. But like, I've got all four of this series and I've only done one in the whole series, I've only done one, but I'm definitely going to do way more in the future. I did this one and this one was back in April 2021. Just looking there, it's like all dirt on it. I don't know why. Oh, the green, that's why. The green's like off printed onto it. Oh well. But like, I love these books, even though they're like a bit gory and a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> questionable it, these are absolutely fun to colour in because you could literally go to town on it you could you can make it as gory gruesome as you can you can make it as cute as you can even if it looks like a head in a jar right you can literally make it mouldy you can make it look like a beautiful woman you can do anything really that's what I love about these type of books. You can really just express like anything. But one thing I will say about these books, they are very, very detailed and need a lot of concentration. I'll skip that page because I know a few people that are scared of spiders, so sorry about that, guys. But I just, I love this book so much. I was going to do it in order, but I don't really like this page. So I'm just going to like skip around and see what I like. That's why I done the first page here. Because I was too scared to like do his work. So I thought I'd do something a little easier. Because I was looking at like Guliana and like really detailed pages. But like... Let's say like this page here if i wanted to do this page here this is too detailed for me at the time but obviously now i i know how to do all this now like i could look at this and go yeah that's that that's that, that, that but back then i used to literally color every little detail in like every little detail but now i'm like as you guys can see i color it all in one color like i kind of block color it but I colour it with like different colours, so it's like, with different shades, sorry. So it does still look like one colour, but it's not. That's why it takes me so long, so I'm just gonna like, try and work my best in these books. I don't give these books enough love, to be honest guys, I really don't. That was Beauty of Horror. This is Beauty of Horror 2. And of course that Beauty of Horror doesn't have a dust cover because I've already worked in it. The others have already got dust covers on because I have not worked in them yet. This is Guliana's Creepatorium. And this one has like the shine in it which I absolutely love. And it has like more simplistic-ish pages. I love this one. I, I know how to do this one. Like I can see colours. Like that's what I love about this artwork. I can see the colours that I really want to colour in. And what I love about this type of work as well. You don't have to do shading or blending or anything like that. If you don't want to. If you're like me and you just like to colour in and just straight colour. You can do because the artwork still speaks out. Which I really like. Some things I'm like, oh that's a bit too for me. But I like like the creativity in it, I really do. 
like I like this one. This is definitely got to be Alison Wonderland or something like that because she's here. She's all tied up and like he's eating a heart right in front of her. Like that's like grim, but it, to me, I love it. I really do. I'm sure this is Guliana's boyfriend or something. I'm not too sure. But like I love his artwork. I really, really do. Hence why I've got all of the Beauty of Horrors and a, a lovely, lovely, lovely friend of mine gifted me every single one of these. Which I am so grateful for. This one has a lot of clowns in it, so if you're like me and you're absolutely scared of clowns, just look away right now. But I am trying to conquer my fear of fears by calling them in, if that makes sense. Like, I'm trying to like build my fear away from clowns by colouring a clown in or like I'm trying to get my fear away from snails by colouring a snail in stuff like that like but in this book it's just clown galore so I might I might even start doing that as like a monthly colour on like face your fears or something like next month might be quite a good um, hashtag so like if you're scared of like detailed pages or you're scared of a certain thing, like petrified of them, try and colour them in. Like, but if you really are like petrified and like it is absolute phobia and you can't do it, I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just, you know, it's like a thing there. Like for me, I'm petrified of clowns. I don't know why I've always been petrified of them, but... I want to like try and overcome that now and colour one in. I, I'm, I'm never even called a clown in. Every time when I see a clown or someone even shows me a picture of one, I just hide like a child. I literally hide underneath the desk like, no, get it away from me. But with this book, I bought this book because like I wanted to overcome the fear of it. So I might actually overcome the fear of it by colouring one in. So that's Beat of Horror, Haunted Playground three by Alan Roberts and a lot of these books as well are like very detailed which I'm starting to enjoy more detail pages to be honest this one is probably his best book he's come up with so far to be honest this is like all the horror films like your favorite horror films with his twist to it which I like a lot like you have Guliana, you have Guliana's boyfriend, brother, whatever in this book and I absolutely love this book. I haven't called it it yet but I absolutely love it so much. Like there's Pennywise and like Guliana's Georgie so it's like like the Stranger Things I love this page right here I always look at this page right here I love it because literally that looks identical to them which is like so cool and like there's darts and the demogorgon I'm a big a big stranger thing fan as you guys can tell like there's Lucas and then there's Mike and then Dustin and Juliana so instead of Will it's Guliana. I think it's the child's name, Will, isn't it? I can't remember. I haven't watched it in a while. I've got to watch it all, haven't I? And you got like Saw. I like the way this one's a jigsaw. I really love that. And then you got like Jaws. You just got Michael Myers. You got loads of stuff like Jason. This one freaks me out though. I don't know why this picture just freaks me out like it's a bit of everything it's got Freddy, Jason, Pennywise it's just like everything merged together and I'm like ugh. I think it's because of Pennywise's face I just don't like Pennywise to be honest guys if you're a fan of him go for you but for me uh -uh. <laughs> nope and I like the fact that he put in a bit of Disney in it as well like where this one has like Dory in it and then the other one with Chucky has Woody in it like stuff like that really really chuckles me it really does but yeah this book is absolutely amazing I'm gonna try and try and colour this in 
it's not going to be amazing because I don't do shading or blending or anything so it won't come out amazingly but I'm going to have fun and that's all that counts now is having fun these ones are Cabe Roseanne's ones and this is Anamorphia by Cabe Roseanne I've only done one and this took me two weeks to do and this was back in May 2020 and I'd used like gel pens and pencils on this page and this was Kirby's first ever colouring book and again like Alan and Joanna I absolutely love Kirby's work absolutely love it I've got every single book of his that he's ever released well apart from obviously like the doodle doodle ton cons or something got all the morphias I've got fragile worlds worlds of wor within worlds stuff like that I've got, I've got most of his work i'm collecting them like wildfires to be honest i absolutely love his work i can't wait for his brand new book to come out and that's coming out next year and i'm really excited for it that is anamorphia by kirby Raven. the next one is wonder morphia by Kirby Rizan. and this one is if you've already got Phantomorphia and Geomorphia then this book is pretty much them two in one big book so it's quite like thick and it is single sided so your alcohol markers you can use so you can use any type of medium in this book I love it when I seen it I was like oh single sided because I thought this was a brand new book that he's just released but it wasn't it was the two books that he's already released in one book and i did this one in january and i really enjoyed doing this one like i really did it's very detailed the pages but if you use alcohol markers and then like go in again with a bit of gel pen and that it doesn't really take that long to do like with this one I thought it would take forever because of all the tree branches and everything but it really didn't but the one I really want really really want to do is this one this one's really detailed really tiny work but I really want to do it it's even got a tiny little turtle there I don't know why I really want to do this page but I do so I might actually do that as a colour and chat one day or a speed colour or something because I really want to do that page so that is Wonder Morphia by Kirby Rosan. the next one is Colour Morphia by Kirby Rosan, and this is like all his Morphias all in one so like you've got your Anamorphia, Mythomorphia, Magimorphia You've got your Geomorphia and Phantomorphia, like all of them are like in here, like best of. This is like his best of book, that's the word I was looking for. And it's just got colouring book in the back. This is the one I've done in 2019. I just used budget friendly pencils and gel pens in it. And this page here is my very first ever Kirby Roseanne page and I'm never ever 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 getting rid of this book because this is my very first ever Kirby Roseanne page and I absolutely love it even though it's not the best but because he has them lines in it it makes it look like I've shaded it in myself and all that and I absolutely love that yeah but this book has like a colouring book in the back and obviously everyone loves it because of this wolf here but then in the front he mentions some people's artwork that has done his work 
so that was like the bed I've done but obviously that's a billion times better than what I've done but like yeah it gives you like little inspirations for like colouring in so like this page here the swans I think it has in this book I don't know where I got them but like where is it I've just seen it this page here of the King Kong page, I call it. This page here is in the front here. Where is it? So if you want to literally copy the same as this page here, you could do because you have the page here. Or if you want inspiration, if you want to be a bit different, like this page is different and I love it. I absolutely love it. And you could literally copy the exact same thing as this image here. So this is Colour Morphia by Kaby Roseanne. <coughs> Sorry guys, my voice is a bit going on. The next one is Worlds of Wh Within Worlds. And I absolutely love, love this book, but I have not coloured it in. I think it's because it's so stunning, I've just not coloured it in. A lot of Kirby's work I love, but I get too scared to colour it in because I think of myself like low down there colouring person, but like I have to make it look amazing, but I'm just getting used to just colouring more detailed stuff, so Yeah, I've, I've been getting like more confidence into colouring Kirby's work and Alan Roberts' work and stuff like that because, yeah, they do take a little bit. They take a while to colour in for me because I like to colour in every little detail. I don't know why, I just hate myself for that. But that's just me and I just like colouring every detail. But as you guys can see, this is a double page um, book. And this is one of the book this is one of the pages I really want to do first. I don't know why. It's a dollhouse and it just reminds me of when I was a little girl and playing with my little dolls and just being like a right girl. <laughs> like when I was little, I just like playing with little Barbie dolls in the houses and dressing them up and just, just reminds me of when I was a child. Even though I didn't have like goblins living in there or anything like that, but I just love this page here. I absolutely love it. It's even got a bit of Halloween here as well. If you like, like want to be a bit festive, you can make like each one of them like a season. Like this one can be Christmas because of the little elves. So yeah, I think that elves are gnomes. You make them into elves. Like here, you can make this one like Halloween. You make that one a bit of Halloween as well. Or like St. Patrick's Day because they got beer. Like stuff like that. You can make, make it like anything. I just love this book so much. The one page that I'm really scared to do but I really want to do at the same time is this page here. This page right here. As you guys can see, it's very detailed. Like, very detailed. So this is going to take me a while to colour in. But, like I said, I don't have to colour in all that. I can just go over it. But now me, I probably will colour it all in. <laughs> that was Wolves and Worlds. This one is also another favourite of mine, which is Fragile Worlds. And again, I'm not colouring this one, but I really love this book so much. This is all endangered animals and stuff like that. This is completely different than what he's first started off with. He started off with like doodles and things in the picture. Oh my God, there's a pack. There's an actual koala page. I love this page. I don't even need to call the koalas in. I can just call them in the background because the koalas are grey anyway. That's what I love about his work. You can literally leave it. I love them things. I can't remember what they're called. Hold on. 50 sewers. Let's see what 50 sewers. He names each, each one of them in the back. 52, let's see what they are. 
There you go. I lost those. I knew, I knew what you were them. I love them. They're so adorable. But yeah, he names each one of them in the back for you. So if you really want to like look up like a colour of like a tiger, like that Pacific tiger you drew, you could like have reference pictures, which I love. Like the great oh, pandas. Like the giant pandas, they're just adorable. You can just leave them as them. But like, yeah, I just love this book so much. Tree frogs, oh my god, I need to call this page in. There's so many pages I want to colour in, you guys. That was Fragile Worlds by Kay Ruzan. Now these ones I've been working in this month, but I'm not going to show you the completed pages I've done this month. I'll just show you the ones I've already completed in the book. So these ones, this one, sorry guys, not these ones, this one, is Chibi Girls Colouring Book Volume 1 by April Amber. I've just been working through this. I did this one in November 2020. It's just like a nice, quick, simple page. This one I did in June 2020. And again, the quick page. These, these pages are quick. It's got some tight then, guys. Sorry, guys. This one I did in July 2020. This one I did in July 2020. I did this one in July 2020. I had a bit of a whoopsie, so I had to just do this page. And I just love how she turned out, to be honest. This one I did in July 2020. Must have loved it. July 2020. This one I did in July 2020. This one I did in August 2020. This one I did in November 2020. I'm trying my best not to show you guys the page. This one I did in... I need to call it January then. July 2020. Did this one in December 2020. How cute is she? She's so cute. I did this one in... February 2021 I did this one in June 2021 and I did this one in May 2020 and as you guys can see it's single sided with a black back but it has duplicates so I've nearly done the first half and I'll definitely do a flip through of that and then when I've done the second half I'll do another flip through because then it'll be complete. This one is a fairly new one which is 101 Unique Mandalas by Camelia Andrikova and I only done one in here other than the one I've done this one and I did this one in May 2021 I'm thinking that was June, to be honest, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think I did this one in May. I think I did this one in June. 2021. I just used gel pens in this one. And yeah, this, this book, it's just got all her, like, best of, pretty much, guys. Like, a bit of everything. If you don't know what book to have of Camellia and Jacoba's books... This book is a good start. So if you let's say you like like these ones, or if you like like the swirly ones, if you like the love heart ones, she's got a book out for them. But if you don't like the other ones, then you've tried it. I like these ones with the pictures in the middle of them. I think they're really unique. But yeah. That is 101 Unique Mandalas by Camille Andrikova. This one is Large Print Colour by Number Christmas. And I've just been working through this book. I did this one in November 2020. And as you guys can see, single sided, black reverse with the colour key on the other side. So I've just been working through it. 
video along with my on that one. This one was done in November 2020. This one was done in November 2020. This one was done in December 2020 and that's all I've done in this book so far. Well, apart from the one I've done this month but you guys aren't going to see that one. The next one is Light and Dark Fantasy by Jade Summer. I've done heaps in this book because this is one of my 10 books to complete in 2021. So we'll just start off in the beginning. I did this one in October 2020. Did this one also in October 2020. I did this one in March 2021. Sorry guys, I've got red itching Did this one in April 2021. I absolutely love her. She's, she's literally my favourite in the book so far. I did this one in May 2021. I did this one in June 2021. I did this one in March 2021. I did this one in January 2021. I did this one in december 2020 this is another one that i really like i to be honest guys love every single one of these pictures in this book there's not one of went ugh, i don't like that every single one i love this book is one of my favorite books to color in every single time every single time i color in this book i'm like more and more pleased with the outcome this one i done in November 2020. As you guys can see, it's black reverse and single sided. This one I did in January 2021. This is another one I really love, to be honest. This one I did in September 2020. I did this one to show my friend how to colour in grayscale because they didn't really understand what grayscale was, so I was showing them how grayscale works. Like you use lighter colours and you don't you really use dark colors because if you use dark colors then the shading of like the grayscale effect goes away and they were just amazed and they were literally like i need to get this book and now i think they have that book i think i'm not too sure so like i kind of persuaded them to get the book because the book's that stunning and amazing this one i did in january 2021 I just love how all them scales look. I love this one as well. I didn't really do the background because I just felt like she didn't need the colour in the background, to be honest. I just wanted the hair to be the main thing in the whole thing. And I just looked at her and went, she she just looks red. I need to just colour her in red. And I just went on her mad one and went on red. As you guys can see, it's like a lovely grey scale. It's not really dark grey scale, but it's not really light grey scale. It's a lovely medium grey scale, which I love. This one's another one I love. Like, to be honest, guys, I love every single one, but I should not keep saying I love them. This one I did in January 2021. I love, like, just the greenness of it. I did this one in January 2021 as well. I, and again, I, I love this page. This one I did in January 2021. I just love the backgrounds and everything that I do with them, guys. This one I did in May 2021. I love her because she's one of my first like grayscale dark skin tones I've used and I just love how beautiful she looks. She looks stunning. I don't even care. She looks stunning. <laughs> I 
and like big I big head of myself but she is one of my favourites I've ever done like ever done so is this guy to be honest he's unusual I went to my friend what colour should I colour him in and they went colour him red I was like red but then I looked in the front because I, I think when I see skin tones I just think like normal skin tones but then it said fantasy I thought you know what yeah colour him red so I called him red <laughs> which went on a, a weird one with him so yeah this is light and dark fantasy I'm definitely going to complete this book I don't know if it's going to be this year but it definitely will get completed and it's one of my favourite all time books as is this one this one is Best of Land Grand Classics by Hatchet Heroes and this book I've not really coloured in a lot in but this month I've coloured two pictures in this month but I'm not going to show you the them too because they're for different pieces of pages these two I did this one in March and this one in April and I just used all pencils then I did I like not show you guys I did this one in May oh can't even see it did this one in May and again I did it all in pencils and that's all I've done in this book so far but as you guys can see it's very very detailed pages so you can't really tell what the image is I just absolutely love it I love this page here but there's so many colours and it's so many of the same type of colours as well but yeah that's that's the grand classics like on this page here guys you can't even tell what this is like how detailed is that like with all the numbers but yeah that is best of land grand classics by hatchet heroes the next one oops sorry guys bunches next one is a chibi horror grayscale by jade summer and i've done a few in here did this one on october 2020 i did this one in march 2021 i did this one in march 2021 as you guys can see it is black reverse and it has like a lovely gray scale and every single one of them is framed and it has double side double images in the book that's why I'm just going to show you the double images so I don't show you my this page. I absolutely love this book. So when I've done half of the book, I'll definitely do a flip through. And then when I've completed the whole book, I'll do the whole book. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this very long video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and follow my Facebook group page. All in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!